corporate influencer, entrepreneur, and brand guru is back in the house today. Alexandra Nolan here, and I hear that you have a special DIY segment for us. Yes. So. This is surprisingly the most read uh, DIY on my blog. Stop. Yeah, I do a lot of fashion and beauty, but it is like the number one post and it has been for the last three years. So Stop. I was like, I need to, clearly people like this. So I'm gonna show you guys how, what it is and how to do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what is it called? Okay, these are decoupage oyster shells. And as you can see, you can do a lot with them. Um, they make great like little ring dishes that you can put by your sink. Um, um, put in it if you put one on a canvas it's really pretty just to kind of hang on the wall great gifts and two if you find a one that's flat enough mm -hmm. you can drill a hole I haven't done this yet this is uh, the Queen Elizabeth and oh, her young age stop. Um, you can drill a hole in it and make really cute Christmas ornaments well David loves oysters and I think that this kind of gives you um, an excuse to buy them because yes. they're expensive mm -hmm. right so then you're like no, no no they're also art yes so I may or may not have gone to coastal fish last <laughs> night and stocked up on some just for the segment. I'm a huge oyster I person. I love so, coastal fish, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, there it's, you are, eating. <laughs> yes, that, that was last summer. So every time I go anywhere, I'm, I ask the odd question, can I get a to-go box? And they're like, there's nothing there. I'm like, I need the shells. There's actually, they're like, what? <laughs> so how does this work? I mean, I see the beautiful designs inside the shell. Yeah, so it's really easy. Um, First, you start with your cleaned oyster shells. Okay. Okay, and we have that some clean? here. Yeah, you can, this one right, hold that oh, one, and oh, I'll give you one. the second step. So, you start with the clean shell, and then you just put some white paint in it. Oh. Because some people don't want, you know, the see-through of this. Right. I personally love it, like on this art, it has, you know, it's right. just kind of a plain. But if you want to, if you don't want it to show through the napkin, which is the second step, you'd want to paint it white. And then the second Genius. step is to get a napkin, which I have several, you can get these on Etsy, by the way. They sell really? just beautiful designs online. So you can go to Etsy, um, you have <gasps> your napkin, and then, oh no, that's fine, it's just an extra little piece. Okay, okay. Um, so you cut your napkin down to size, and then you're gonna put some Mod Podge I'm like, am I saying that right? Yeah, I know. I'm like, decoupage, mod, mod, mod podge. podge. <laughs> so you put a little bit of that in the shell, like, not, like you know so. Yeah. So you just kind of, we're just gonna kind of dip it in, and you're just gonna paint quickly the whole shell, and then it's super easy. This is kind of the part that gives me a little anxiety because whenever <laughs> I put the napkin in it, I'm like, oh. But you're just going to put your napkin. Just squ squish it on in there. Like there's no wrong way to do it. <laughs> and you let this dry overnight. What's the anxiety part? You did a great job. Well, because there. look, it's all, I'm all like, yeah, you're like, is it perfect? It needs to be flat. flat. Okay, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it never is, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, the next morning, you will have something that looks similar to this. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll have the napkin around it. You, I, I have to tell a funny story. Tell me, I tell had, it. I had this prepared so that you could pull the napkin <gasps> off, but I woke up and my dog had eaten the napkin <laughs> off this morning. So I was my, like, my dog <laughs> ate my homework. Oh, I know, it was sure, like, sure, Alexandra, I swear. Did your dog <laughs> I was like, I have to be there in an hour, and my dog ate part of the project. So my dog tore off the napkin for That's you. so cool. I <laughs> but, love it. What's your dog's name? Um, Bane. Bane. We're going to have to show a picture at some point oh, when you yeah, come back. I to will. Just, you know? just to be like, now this we is have the guy to know. that yeah, did this. <laughs> so after you get done and you peel off uh, the corners, the fun part is you add a little bit, and I was like, what is the uh, gilding? That's what it oh, is. Oh, yeah. It's gold gilding. <gasps> oh, that's what's around yes, here. Yes, that, that's what makes this beautiful, like, shiny. Right. This took me a while to figure this out, too, by the way. I started buying gold paint, and I just couldn't get, it looks much like this. Mm -hmm. This is just the gold paint. Right. So I was like, how do I get the shiny look? It's the gilding. So if you want a flat look, just regular gold paint. If you want that shiny look, the gilding. See, you just cut out all the drama so that we can just know what to do. Well, I gotta tell you, it took me like seven different paints until I realized it's not just gold paint, it's gilding. Wow, okay, so I feel like covering this like the, the glue is gonna dry out, but it's no, not. No, it's it's big. Okay, yeah. so um, where do we place these? Like, where's the best place in your home to put these, or what do you do with them? Okay, so many things. I've got them by like the guest sink 
and you can put little soaps in it. I love to get the Peabody soaps when you stay and they've got the little ducks. I wow. put the duck in the oyster shell. Stop, okay. It's super cute. You can use them as paperweights. I have a few on my desk, um, just on your bookshelf. They're just really eye-catching and, and really beautiful. I love it and you can really choose any colors that you want. Okay, so you have a great, um, I'm not sure if you have the QR code today, but um, you have a great website. Yes, yeah, so yeah. at cityshakeliving.com, um, you can just look up, there's a search bar. Oh, Deku yeah, we do oh, have the perfect. QR code. So woof, if you woof. scan that QR code, it will take you directly to the DIY on this. Right. Um, and the one part I forgot to mention in the end, when you have, you've already put your gold gilding on, mm -hmm. you just go over that Mod Pod. <gasps> that, that's what makes it shiny. Because if oh. you look right here, it's kind of dull. It's like, okay. Eh, well, it's like dog breath. Well, that too. <laughs> It's a little bit of dog slobber and Mod Podge, but, <laughs> but it will look beautiful later whenever I do the gold gilding and put a little bit of that over top. It'll be just good as new. All that is is a little love. Just it is. Put right in there. Yeah. Dogs are amazing. Oh my goodness. You never disappoint. Uh, Alexandra Thank Nolan, you. thank you so much. And you have to check out her website. Oh my goodness. There's so much there just to live your life and also just do it in style like Alex. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there is more.